There's a website called KimKardashianRuinedMyLife.com. This is David Libenson. He is the creator of the website and the original creator of Kimoji, who he says Kim Kardashian screwed him out of and left him homeless. There's a lot of details on the website, so feel free to check it out for yourself and read his story, but I'll try to sum it up. Also, follow me for more celebrity and entertainment news. Let's get into it. David initially met Kim when he was working for the app called Censorgram, which was an anti-bullying app created to censor certain keywords on Instagram posts, a feature that the Instagram app itself self has since adapted. David met with Kim and Kris Jenner in 2014 at Kris's house in Calabasas. The meeting was strictly about Sensorgram, but at the end of the meeting, David pitched the idea of Kimoji to Kim, and he says she loved it. In the write-up, he also includes images of the original Kimoji concepts that he shared with Kim, and screenshots, emails, etc. And he says they agreed to split Kimoji 50-50. Sorry for the audio switch, my mic just died on me. David says he and his family were on cloud nine after the meeting with Kim and Kris at the thought of their new agreement and all the success they'd have together. Then he says out of the blue, Kim contacted them and asked if they'd trademark Kimoji yet. He hadn't, so her team said, don't worry, we'll file it for you. Her team went ahead and trademarked Kimoji without David's name on the trademark. And again, David included screenshots of text messages like this one, where you can see Kim is agreeing that she wants to move forward working with him on Kimoji. There's a lot more details of exactly how this all went down. You can pause to read the whole thing, or like I said, go on the website to read it all. This screenshot lays out some more of the detail. According to David, Kim's excuse for not wanting to move forward working with him was that somebody on his team allegedly leaked her information. He says she's gotten away with all this because she's incredibly wealthy. So David ended up suing Kim for a hundred million dollars. David ended up dropping his case because long story short, if you know anything about lawsuits, it's expensive. And Kim has a lot more money than him. He couldn't afford it anymore. But David lost a lot of money in the process and also had to pay her team $400,000 for their lawyer fees and their time. David says he lost everything. He works from his car now. He is homeless. He got a divorce and he works two jobs trying to pay back the $400,000. So not only did Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner allegedly steal his Kimoji idea, they also took $400,000 of his money, hence the website title KimKardashianRuinMyLife.com. And as far as the app Censorgram goes, David says that Kim and Kanye worked with the CEO of Instagram at the time to create a way to censor words on the Instagram app so that Censorgram was no longer needed. So David says that Kim and Kanye took that idea to Instagram, they implemented it on their app making Sensorgram pretty much useless. And he says in Kanye's song Facts, he raps about Kimoji making a million a minute and breaking the app store and that it was really triggering for David. You remember when he says, and Kimoji just shut down the app store. We made a million a minute. We made a million a minute. I can only imagine how triggering that is. So this information is all alleged, but there are a lot of screenshots and emails on this website. David has disclaimers that he did this all from his phone. So excuse any grammatical errors or anything like that. He also left his cash app and Venmo if you want to help him out. But let me know your thoughts. This is a really, really crazy story. And again, for all the details, please check out the website yourself.